What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today, what a twist of a day. So Apple did release iOS 8.1.2, and in the very same day, we've just received a jailbreak. Now, if that doesn't show you how powerful our jailbreak community is, I don't know what else will. I mean, that's crazy. However, so in the latest version of iOS 8.1.2, Apple included one major fix, and that was to patch a little bug that would remove ringtones you purchased from iTunes. You know, cool, why not? However, it doesn't affect everybody. Now in this video, I'm gonna convince you why you should update to iOS 8.1.2 and re-jailbreak with Tai-G. I know a lot of you guys are getting tired of it. You've just updated 8.1 and then 8.1.1, why do it again? Well, I have several compelling reasons for you guys and I do wanna say that Tai-G works flawlessly. I mean, wow, thank you so much guys. You made jailbreaking a reality on 8.1.1 and now again, you've done it on 8.1.2. So to begin with, Apple never really even patched the jailbreak in this latest version. They were just going to focus on one little bug and you know why jailbreak on 8.1.2 again well there's a couple reasons first off 8.1.2 is going to be one of the last jailbreakable firmwares until ios 8.2 and that's going to be in a few months so why not be on the latest firmware with all of the latest fixes and enjoy jailbreak at the same time also there's something more than that and this is something i was really impressed to find so if you guys are on ios 8.1.2 on older devices such as the 5s 5c iphone 5 you're going to be impressed to see the results i just got so first off i do want to show you guys the firmwares i am running here's my iphone 5 with ios 8.1.2 on the right and 8.1.1 on the left now i'm going to do a full comparison video tomorrow showing you guys the differences but i just want to show you one geekbench so this is one geekbench that i ran and look at this i got 709 versus 648 on ios 8.1.2 and the difference is right there. So this is on 8.1.2 versus 8.1.1, and look at that difference. This is with no applications open. I mean, it's it's a difference for sure on iOS 8.1.2. Now beyond that, I don't know if there will be a difference on newer devices, but if you're running an older device, there will be a difference in performance, and I would totally recommend that you guys do this. And you know, why not? You're gonna be enjoying all the latest fixes anyways. So this will work on iOS 8.1.2, 8.1.1, 8.1, and any device lower than that as well, but it will not support iOS 7. So this supports pretty much all devices from the 6 Plus 6 to the new iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 3, as well as all older devices. And this only supports Windows at the moment. However, if you're running virtual machine on a Mac, you can still do this on a Mac. Anyways, you guys will need to download a couple things and all of the links can be found right here. Just click on this link or there will be a link down below in the description. So go ahead and click on that there. Download the package you need and there will be a full guide as well as a full troubleshooting guide there as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and prepare my device to jailbreak. Now, first and foremost, how do I update to iOS 8.1.2 safely? The wrong way to do it is to do it from inside of settings in here and updating from here. Do not update from your device. It will interfere with this jailbreak. So if you guys are on an older firmware and you want to update to 8.1.2 and then re-jailbreak, go to your computer and update through iTunes. I mean, all you guys have to do is open up iTunes and click update with your device plugged in and you'll be on the latest firmware. You don't want to do it from inside your device. Anyways, inside of here, there's a couple things you guys need to do. First off, remove any passcode or touch ID you have set on your device. This will interfere with a jailbreak. Second, go into iCloud and sign out of iCloud, remove find my iPhone. So that will interfere with the jailbreak. So you wanna make sure that is not enabled. And lastly, just slide up and put your device into airplane mode. So that little thing could help with the jailbreak. Now, if you guys have a lot of things on your device, such as data, music, messages, delete some, make some room if your device is fully packed because that could impact the jailbreak as well. And lastly, I do just want to mention that this is in no way illegal. It is protected under the DMCA Act. And I want you guys to do one thing for me before doing anything else is go ahead and back your device up in iTunes right now. Now make sure it is to a local backup. I've had trouble with iCloud backups in the past, not saving everything. So back up your device in iTunes to make sure that all of your data is secure because you never know. Something could come unplugged. You never know. You just want to make sure all of your data is backed up. So that way you are at no risk just in case anything does go wrong but i gotta tell you this is an incredibly secure jailbreak so there's nothing to worry about anyways we're all prepped and ready to begin the jailbreak on ios 8.1.2 all right so i'm gonna go ahead and plug my device in and make sure you do have administrator privileges on your computer 
you know, make sure you are the administrator and go ahead and download this package. Now, like I said, you can click right here to download it or down below in the description, there will be a link to download this package. And let's go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. Of course, you guys will need to extract it. Let's go ahead and run it. And this is where we select yes, we are administrators. And here we go. So it will take a moment to register your device. And as you guys can see, 8.1.2 is supported. I mean, guys, let's take a moment to thank the Taiji team right now. They have been working so hard and this is an independent jailbreak. It uses no exploits from 8.2 or older unused exploits. This team made this jailbreak entirely out of scratch. So let's go ahead and you know uncheck this guy. You don't need this. This adds an app store and a source inside of Cydia. And make sure Cydia is checked. This is the latest version go ahead and select that green button. So this will take about five to 10 minutes. It won't take long at all. And at the end, you guys will be jailbroken on iOS 8.1.2. So just to show you guys, I am rocking the newest firmware on my iPhone 6 and we're gonna be done any moment now. So while this is jailbreaking, you know, to the people that are new to jailbreaking out there, I just wanna show you guys what you can do after this jailbreak is complete. So this is my iPhone 6 Plus that has been jailbroken and just a couple things from here. I have a guest mode enabled and up there, I do actually have a face unlock recognition. It just recognized my face and unlocked my device. Inside, I have a, a Turnum tweak, and now this actually installs the Apple Watch UI on your iPhone, and it's, it's so fluid, man, it's so cool. It's not just a theme, it's a full interface for your springboard. I mean, besides this, there is so much you can do, and I have so many videos on my channel. And you guys can definitely check that out. Make sure to subscribe. I'm always posting new things. But anyways, it looks like the jailbreak has completed. You know, if iTunes opens up, just close out of that guy. And I'm going to slide to unlock. And look at that. Look at how easy it is to jailbreak iOS 8.1.2. Open up Cydia. And actually, let me go ahead and enable Wi-Fi. And Cydia is going to take about five minutes to set up. And once it's done, your device will respring and then you will have access to Cydia. So guys, that's just incredible. Just how fast we've seen jailbreak for 8.1.2. And I know 8.1.2 didn't patch the jailbreak, so that did make things easier. But, you know, I'm just really happy about that, that we can stay on the newest firmware and stay jailbroken. So in a moment here, once this does respring, I will be right back. And I do want to mention, as a little disclaimer, jailbreaking does void your warranty. So if you guys ever shatter your screen and you're under any sort of protection plan and you come into Apple and say, hey, replace this, if your device is jailbroken, they will refuse service. So make sure to restore your device before going in for service. That way, Apple will never be able to tell your device was ever jailbroken. You know, it does void your warranty, but it's very easy to go undetected that you were ever jailbroken just by restoring your device. All right, and my device is just wrapping up right now. So it is respringing and in a moment here, I will go ahead and open up a fully functioning Cydia on iOS 8.1.2. And there we are. And if I scroll down, I am running the latest 8.1.2. And guys, there is no difference. 8.1.2 will function exactly like 8.1.1 did. All of your tweaks, all of your applications will be exactly the same. You know, compatibility wise, everything is going to be okay. And that's how you do it, guys. That's how you jailbreak iOS 8.1.2 untethered on all devices. Now, if you guys need help, you know, troubleshooting down below in the description, that link that'll take you to my full article and you can read all the troubleshooting there, but I can give you a few tips. Basically, if anything happened and you weren't successful in jailbreaking your device, just restart your computer and restart your iPhone. Just a couple little things could make a huge impact on the entire jailbreak experience. Make sure you guys actually did prep your device. It is in airplane mode. You did free up some space if your device was full and make sure you do have administrator privileges. Now, worst case scenario, just switch computers. You know, such a little thing could make a huge impact as well. Switching computers could make the difference between jailbreaking or not jailbreaking. Otherwise, you guys are done. And if you want to know what to do on your jailbreak now, just click on one of these videos. It'll take you to one of my tweak videos. And there you can see all of the cool things you can do after jailbreaking your device. And that's it. Enjoy the latest iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak. Now, 8.2 is on the horizon. So once that's out, do not update. It's very likely that we could see iOS 8.1.3 as well. And I don't want you guys to update because you could lose your jailbreak. So best case scenario, a jailbreak will come out super fast like it did now. But worst case, we won't see one until 8.2. So make sure not to update, you know, until it is verified that you can jailbreak or it could be jailbreakable in the future. Otherwise, enjoy your iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak, guys. Have a great day. Peace.